Hello everyone, my name is Confidence and it's great to have you back. In this video, we're going to look at the divider widget and I'm going to show you some ways in which you can configure it and make use of it. So let's get started by bringing a divider widget into the canvas. So I'm just going to drag a divider widget right here. And there we have a divider widget. The divider widget can be used for explaining complex flows within your application, as you would see shortly, or you could purely use it for aesthetic purposes. Taking a look at this, the first property we can configure is the orientation of the divider widget. So we can choose to make this um, horizontal, which is what it is by default, or we can make this vertical and then expand this a bit so that we see the um, vertical orientation. So let's set this back to horizontal. And then we have the divider widget in the horizontal um, orientation. Moving on, we can also set the visibility property. Um, right now it is visible, so I can turn this off and make it not visible, or I can turn it back on to make it visible. I can also go into the JavaScript mode and write some JavaScript logic that would dynamically set this widget to be visible or not. Moving on, we have the styles for the divider widget. And the first style we have is the dash style. Here we have a um, continuous solid line. We can choose to make this dashed and you can see that we have some dashes in between, or we can make this dotted and we have smaller dashes um, between each point in the divider widget. Let's set this back to solid. We can specify a thickness for the divider widget. Right now it is two pixels thick, so I can choose to make this 20, and that is a lot more thicker. So let's set this back to two, and there we have the thickness set to two pixels. We can also specify a color for the divider widget. We can set it to any of these predefined colors, or we can go in to supply a hex code or a color name for the color we want to set this. So let's set this back to black. And then we have a black divider widget. We can click on any of these to set it to any of these predefined colors, but let's set this back to black. And there we have a black divider widget showing up. We can also choose to specify a cap for each end of the divider widget. Right now we have no cap. That is just why it looks like a straight line, but we can choose to add an arrow cap. And here we have an arrow, or we can choose to make it dotted at the ends. And here we have dot showing up at the end. And we can also specify what end we want these caps to appear. We can make it to only appear to the left. And there we have only cap to the left. Or we can make it appear only to the right. And there we have um, only to the right. Or we can make it appear at both ends. And here we have it appearing at both ends. All right, so this has been the divider widget. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and get subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.